either another example of everything I've been talking about, or the beginning of the next way out of all this negative land. <laughs> Tina Turner, David Bowie, Van Halen, Madonna, Huey Lewis and the News, The Cars, Herbie Hancock, Bonnie Tyler, Stevie Nicks, Men at Work, ZZ Top, Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson, Weird Al Yankovic, Cindy Looper, Pink Floyd, The Pretenders, Billy Joel, Billy Idol, Elton John, Neil Young, Sheena Easton, Patti Smith and Scandal, John Lennon, Apollonia 6, REO Speedwagon, David Gilmore, The Rolling Stones, Pat Benatar, Paul and Oates, Wham, Adam Hint, Banana Rama, The Thompson Twins, Missing Persons, Duran Duran, Kenny Rogers, Police, Eurythmics, Culture Club, including Boy George, Band Aid, Relax, Stevie Wonder, Dean Martin, Kiss, Scorpions, Def Leppard, Scooby Dooby Doo, Spinal Tap, Michael Cimbello, Flashdance, Kenny Loggins, Phil Collins, Fire Incorporated, Olivia Newton John, and all other individual groups or individual artists who vibrate in consciousness with them and with the vibration of fallen angels and the demons of death and hell and not the bottom of the script. Melt the North Pole. What? Melt the North Pole? Well, Congress once considered the idea, and really it wasn't such a bad idea, except for one or two little things. We'll read about it. Read with me. Number one, idea. Two, warm. Three, melt. Weather. Five. Thought. Idea. Melt the North Pole? Well, it's far from the worst idea ever concocted. Yes, a United States Senator passed along the idea to Congress. Carefully study the word idea. Idea. The freezing waters could be pumped out of the Arctic and the warm Gulf Stream could be pumped in. And when the warm water would arrive at the North Pole, the Arctic ice itself would melt. Study the word warm. Number two. Which word is the word warm? Warm. Melt. Few are aware that Congress considered the idea whether or not to melt the North Pole. Is it true that one could melt an ice mass of such size? Study the word melt. Melting the North Pole could involve changing the weather of nearly the entire Earth. Imagine 
a great change in the weather all over the world. Study the word weather. Change the weather of nearly the whole world. It was a chilling thought. 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 So let's melt the North Pole. All right. Theory can be dangerous. And all of this was just that, theory. And it was theory that involved enormously changing the very weather of nearly the entire Earth, but also moist. Turn perhaps half the Earth dry? Melt the North Pole? Well, it's far from the worst idea ever concocted and the United States Congress itself at one time thought carefully about doing it. Why build the dam? We may drink a good deal of liquid and not easily satisfy our thirst. Liquid increases the thirst until that painful thirst becomes unbearable. So said the Russian engineer. On the other hand, the albatross, a seabird, this animal needs almost no water to live. Which reminds us, men must soon learn to remove the salt from seawater and learn a way to transport that water to people inland. And if all this were actually done, and found to work. According to the Russian scientist, North and South Dakota and the American Midwestern states would simply disappear. Goodbye forever there. They must learn to do this, and they are learning. For animals will inherit the earth. Is this sense true? or false. Survive means live at sea. Turn perhaps half the earth dry. Change the weather of nearly the whole world. Ready? Congress decided to try to melt the North Pole, harm Siberia, harm Alaska, harm nearly the entire world. But it is perhaps even more dangerous than interesting. Yet it is not entirely foolish. Apparently at least Siberia and Alaska would benefit. For these regions would then lack that which made them moist, thrust, thought, thought. That concludes this lesson. County Fair, now in full swing at the fairgrounds here in Pomona. Uh, this is Vance Kaldig reporting from a beautiful display in one of our many exhibit buildings. And this display 
shows all the wonderful virtues and the great things that are going on up there in Contra Costa County. Before me is a mouth-watering display of all sorts of apples. There are melons, there's squash, and there's all sorts of things. And here's the gentleman who's going to tell us more about this wonderful exhibit from Martinez, Mr. Fred Nettles. Fred, how are you? Very well, thank you today. Uh, before, <coughs> pardon me, before you ladies and gentlemen down here, I have put in industry, representing all phases of it. I have represented all the oil companies, the paper industry, the chemical industry, and the, and, uh, the Continental Can Corporation, plus the Glass Container Corporation. Uh, the main question a lot of people ask me is, do you have oil wells in Contra Costa County? I tell them that we are one of the newest fields in the state of, uh, in, well, in, let's put it like this, in Northern California. Um, uh, and a lot of people ask me, uh, where can I lo locate plants? And they're interested in getting uh, out of this territory down here. Uh, I don't know why, I guess it's a smog. And, uh, and uh, now, my main background is a cat, which is nine feet high. He's animated. His tail w uh, uh, wiggles. One of his paws, one of his paws uh, uh, goes up and down, and he has a bee. And uh, my, the theme that I use, curiosity led to the discovery of gas and oil in Contra Costa County. And we also have large vials of bubbling chemicals, uh, animated flowers, which turn around and around. And all in all, has turned out to be a very effective exhibit for you people in Contra Costa County. I think if you come to the fair, you'll be very proud of it. Well, I have certainly found it most interesting, Fred. I never did realize that you had so much going on up there. I've been through that part of the country, and my main interests are in fishing and hunting. They happen to be hobbies of mine personally. Everybody's been coming out here to have a real good time. And part of the good time is before these various exhibits and wonderful displays put on by Con Contra, I'm gonna have you say it, my tongue get, I'm so excited here. Uh, in Contra Costa County. Thank you.
Sycamore is open. That's how Sycamore opened. That's how Sycamore is. Guns. I say this somewhat quietly and without fanfare because... How are you voting on the gun initiative? Well, I'm against it. Because people who like their living green and private don't usually appreciate a lot of fluttering flags and cartwheeling clowns. There are 17 million adults in California and an estimated 4 million handguns. Well, that's not fair. When no more can be sold, you can see that the majority of adults will be virtually prohibited from ever owning one. When this vacation land is sold out. That's right. Did you know it gives some people a special property right? You mean my neighbor can have something legally that I can't have? So if you've always admired parts of Piedmont or Orinda... Well, you could buy one if you can convince someone to sell you his and if you're willing to pay his price. And regret you didn't buy there 10 or 15 years ago. Sycamore should have considerable appeal. That's right. It is a custom community of personalized guns for the private pleasure of a limited number of families. It allows people who already own handguns to keep them. After all, you aren't going to find a finished big blue mountain lake in California that isn't full of boats and people. Guns. And surrounded by cars. This opening is just the beginning of something people will want a Sunday drive through for the next couple of hundred years. I can make 15 fucking posts on Facebook and not fucking one of you will share it. Because you don't want to offend somebody. Wilderness. Get the fuck off the internet. You are of no use to anybody. Wilderness. Wilderness. Well, Shut your fucking accounts down! Shut your fucking mouths! Fall in line and love Socialist America, cause that's what you got! Fuck you! Wilderness. I've been nice. Online. Wilderness. Wilderness. I don't have children. I live alone. I can spend all of my free time dedicated to working online. And all of the hours that I've spent online working for this country is how I see it. And you people don't even share the shit I post. Fuck 
thumbs up. You'll write the comment section on Facebook. Well, you know what? That doesn't count on YouTube. Figure out how to use the fucking internet or get the hell off of it. It's a tool of the left. Use it against them. Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. All tools of the left. Use them against them. time zones there are in the Soviet Union? And about power. You meant we got so much power now. Do you know how many time zones there are in the Soviet Union? We got so much power now. That's ridiculous. Do you meant do you know how many time zones there are in the Soviet Union? Power and all that. That's power. We got so much power. That's ridiculous. We have power, power, and power, and power, power, and power now. It's ridiculous. We got so much power now. Do you know how many time zones there are in the Soviet Union? It's not even funny. Do you mean that's ridiculous? Do you know how many? It's not even funny. Do you mean that's ridiculous? Do you know how many? That's that's ridiculous. Do you know how many times? That's ridiculous. It's not even funny. Do you mean it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Do you know how many time zones there are in the Soviet Union? It's not even funny. How many time zones? Yeah. We have we have four in this country, right? How many time zones? Yeah. One, two, three. Four in this country, right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, -huh. uh four. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Right. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Uh, -huh. uh four time zones? Yeah. We have four in this country, right? Uh, no, sir. We uh, have we have. Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. And uh. Do you know how many time zones they have? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, four. Uh, no, sir. I never really studied that up. Studied Eleven. Eleven. It's not even funny. That's Eleven. Eleven. That's that's ridiculous. That's Eleven. Eleven. Well, that's what we can do. We can go anywhere because we live here. We yeah, can go anywhere but, else. Yeah, but not only not only the right of free travel. I'm saying Eleven. 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 One, two, three. Yes, sir. That's Eleven. Eleven. That's how big they are. Yeah, yeah. Eleven. That's how big they are. Yeah, yeah. I, I can believe that. I'm a firm believer in that. Right. One, two, three. Uh, four. Yes, sir. One, two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Soviet Union, the whole half side of the world. Yeah. And we're just on a little, one little tenth of the globe. Yeah. They, uh, when you talk about fighting, we're a country that uh, we're a firm believer on Christ, and it's called help thy neighbor. Do not kill, do not, you know, steal, cheat, lie from everybody. That's why we have to have computers, because man, nobody is perfect, you know? It's not even funny. You mean? And about power, man, nobody is perfect, you know? So what is your point? Nobody is perfect, you know? So what is your point? There's there's, there's two things you don't talk about. One's politics, the other one's religion. You, you must. They can. The reason you don't talk about them is because they combine in each other. You know what I'm saying? You know how many time zones there are in the Soviet Union? You know what I'm saying? Don't you kid yourself. Thanks, Glenn, for the. Uh, well, 
just thanks for the, the good thoughts. Supermarkets are doing everything possible to maintain normal store inventories. It's time to say, enough is enough. A message from Albertsons, Alpha Beta, Lucky Stores, Rallies, Rouse, and Safeway. Thank you. where he can cuddle up close and listen. Cat. The steel jaw leg hold trap, a killer. Don't let that slip your mind, cat. The steel jaw leg hold trap. Did you understand all that, cat? I'd like to speak with the dog of the house, please, in case you're not getting that. Sir, many of the dogs on your block aren't getting the, the steel jaw, a killer. Nearly every dog likes to go for a ride, but the family car can also be a pet's death trap. The steel jaw leg hold trap. It maims, tortures, and kills. Still a hard-nosed killer, this leg hold trap. Did you understand that, dog? The plastic six-pack holder. It strangles and kills. I'll pronounce that again, dog. The plastic six-pack holder. Absolutely vital, prime killers. Did you understand that, dog? It strangles. Did you understand that, dog? We'll tell you what you can do to help America get rid of dogs and cats. Cut it apart when you see one in a campground. I mean, it was perfect out of Cadillac. I mean, that, that, that and 